Hello guys and welcome to your 6 C++ tutorial. This tutorial we'll just be doing our first small lab which is basically what we'll be doing is very simple and it's going to be a calculator basically just calculating the area of a circle. So this is our first tiny project. So to get started first of all uh, go ahead and open up the main.cpp file from our previous tutorial. If you haven't done so pause the video go ahead and open it up and then resume the video. Okay, so since you have opened the file now, let's go ahead and get rid of our previous lines of code. Oops, sorry. Yeah. So first, what we'll need is basically declare. So we can declare, we need to declare. Well, if let me just start by saying this. Uh, you guys probably already know that the area of a circle equals pi times the radius. You probably all of you probably know that but in order for us to use the power function we need to include so let's go ahead and include we need to include the math library so we just type include and we type math sorry it's actually cmap so we'll just include cmap what this will allow us to do is basically allow us to use the par function that we need to find the area of a circle once you have once we have done that we can just go right ahead and start declaring so we'll need to declare variable radius which will hold the radius that we need the user to enter and then we need to declare pi and we need to initialize it, set it equal to 3.14 approximately so this is all we need to declare basically to find the area of a circle but we can declare, as you see here we declare double radius and double pi and initialize it we can declare it line by line or we can do it another way we can also declare variables in the same line but just type in double, I mean double and then comma and then we can just type pi equals 3.14 on the same line and this does basically the same thing then let's go ahead and ask so let's type c out and ask the user to enter the radius of the circle so we'll ask the user to enter the radius then we'll store that in the radius variable we declared so now that we did that, we can go right ahead and find the area of a circle, which is exactly what we forgot to declare. So let's just go out there and put comma after the 3.14 and declare another variable called area, which will store the area of the circle. So now that we did that, we can go right back down here and type area equals, here is the formula. So the formula is pi r squared. So we need to multiply pi times the radius squared. So in order to do ra radius squared, we include the cmat function. And the, when the way you take um, the, the radius to the second power is by typing pow, open parenthesis, and then we need to type radius, which is the user's input, and then 2. That means take the radius to the second power. So now that we found the area we need to display it to the user and say the area of your circle is and then we'll just print out the area the area variable which is holding the area of the circle and just type an end line at the end so let's go over the code one more time so up here we, we had to include the cmat library in order to use the power function so after that we have to declare a couple of variables the first one was radius which will hold the user's input of the radius then another variable called pi which we initialized to be 3.14 and then another variable called area which will hold the area of the circle then here we ask the user to enter the, the radius of the circle we store that in the, in the radius variable then we multiply pi times 
the radius squared and store all that in area then basically down here we just will display uh, the area to the user so let's go ahead and build this and just go ahead and compile it and if you already compiled because mine is uh, slow you can go ahead and run it and see if it actually functions properly which it should so here we go it builds successfully let me go, let's go ahead and test it out so here we go we get entered the radius of the circle so taking a look at the code if I enter the radius to be 2.55 the radius will be stored in the radius variable and then you will perform the calculation down here pi r squared then it, then it should so we won't see this part then we'll just see the area of the circle is pop the area let's hit enter and you see the area of the circle is 20.4178 so there we go guys that was our first small project well, it's not even a project but it's, uh, it was very small and I hope you enjoyed so uh, next will be tutorial 7 and please check out all my other videos and please subscribe and as I said before if you need me to make a tutorial about anything in particular just comment or send me an email or anything or any way you find to be more reliable for you once again thank you and please subscribe and check out my channel thank you guys